first to know a little better, can you please raise a hand if you're a tester? Okay, can you raise a hand if you're a developer? Okay, thank you. So, okay, imagine, today is the release day. It's 3 p.m. already. You are sitting behind a desk. You have a lot of devices, mobile devices, tablets, Android phones, iPhones. You look outside, it's raining, and you're like, oh, it's so dark and gloomy. Oh, I have so many devices and so little time. You pick an iPhone, you start testing. You find a bug, 10th bug today. It's a serious bug. What am I going to do, you ask yourself. If I'm going to tell this to a product owner, they will stop the release, they will hate me. But because it's a serious bug, you go to a product owner and you show the bug. And product owner goes like, how come you didn't find this sooner? I don't know. Developers look at you like this because they want to go home, of course, it's 3 p.m. So, but they have no choice, so they go and fix the bug and you go behind your desk, pick another device and start testing and you're hoping you're not going to find any more tricky bugs because today it's your release day, of course. How do you feel? You feel stressed because of the pressure of the release. You feel fear to find bugs and to report them. You feel angry and confused because, well, finding bugs is my job. And you feel not being appreciated by the team. And you wonder how to please anyone so everyone will be happy. So much negative energy is inside you. Can you imagine feeling that way? I can't. Not anymore. But unfortunately, a lot of testers today feel that way. Have you ever felt that way? Yes? Raise hand. No? Okay, perfect. Well, of course, we have developers. <laughs> okay, so now imagine the same situation, but from other perspective. So, we have a desk. Today, it's a release desk. It's 3 p.m. already. You have a lot of devices on your desk. iPhones, Android phones, tablets. You think, oh, so many devices, oh, so many opportunities. You look outside the window and you see rain, and you think, thank God for rain. It was sunny and dry for almost three months. Nature needs rain. You pick an iPhone and you start testing, and you find a bug. Oh, yes, I'm good. It's a 10th bug today, and it's a tricky one. So you feel really proud of yourself. You go to a product owner and show the bug. The product owner goes like, how come you didn't find this sooner? And you say, well, it's a tricky bug. Thank God I found it today. Because the more bugs I found today, the less bugs will be found by the end users. So, and then, okay, developers have no choice, so they start to fix the bug. And you go behind your desk again pick another device and think, oh, I hope I find a bug or two. And how do you feel now? You feel happy and relaxed. Because, you know, the more bugs you find, the less will be found by the end users. And you also know that if the product owner says, okay, we will release this with this bug, we, you, will, you know that you will inform the end users of these known bugs. You feel proud to have found these tricky bugs. And you feel appreciated by the team. And you wonder how to make everybody feel the way you feel. You have so much positive emotions inside you, so much energy and love. Can you imagine feeling that way? Because I can. I feel that way every day as a tester. So, what can we learn from these two stories? Situations that happen around us, people reactions, they're not nor positive nor negative. 
They're not no good or bad. They're neutral. Your perception of the world makes it good or bad. Your inner world, your thoughts, makes it good or bad. So, what is happening inside you, your emotions, everything that is happening, that is your perception of the outer world. So, what does this mean? You can practice this. You're not born with this, it's not genetics. So, if you practice to see only good in people, in situations, in reactions, you will see only good. And if you practice to see only negative and be miserable, well then your life will be miserable. Because our thoughts create our reality. And as Napoleon Hill said, what the mind of a man can create and conceive and believe, can achieve. And also what Bob Proctor said, if you can see it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. And that goes to all your situations and reactions toward him as well. Raise a hand if you agree. Okay, nice to hear that. <laughs> so, I said that I now love doing what I love. I really enjoy every day while I'm testing, but it wasn't always like that. I wasn't born with this knowledge. So, how did I get here where I'm now, where am I now? <clears throat> well, I started as a student programmer, then I was forced to be a tester, but I started to enjoy it. But then my life path went on and I was also assistant of project manager and then when I had another opportunity I was again tester in Slovenia and then on a, a team that is, was international and then my path led me to um, starting my own company and now to be where I am now. So what can we learn from this? Uh, try to do as many things as you can, try to as, have um, take as many roles in the IT world you can so first you will find out what you don't like so then you'll be closer to finding out what you like and these are the steps to finding your passion and now uh, because I also started to write my blog I became visible and the funny thing is my ideal company client customer found me and I'm working for them and they are really ideal for me because I actually wrote what uh, my ideal company I want to work for looks like, what is the energy inside, what am I going to do there and they found me and I'm, they're exactly the same I wrote on this paper and I'm working for OneTap Limited they are from UK, but the main developer team are, is here in Ljubljana. Here we are, um, I'm the QA, we have developers, uh, marketing, product owner, and other. So, now I really enjoy working and testing. And because here uh, you are a lot of um, developers, you probably want to know how does a typical uh, day of a tester look, look like? Okay, because you probably think we just write clicking on iPhone and that's it. Okay, so usually when I come to work, uh, I open my email, I check my email, and usually a day before I plan ahead what are the most important tasks for the next day. So okay, I check uh, quickly emails and I open Jira board because uh, we're doing um, a project is run uh, agile, we have a Jira board and we have tickets. So I usually just pick a ticket uh, for today. I see, okay, for example, it's a new feature, it's a new field, um, it's a date field. Okay, so how would I test it? Well, I would first try to write numbers, of course, it's a date. Then I would try to write uh, letters, special characters, negative numbers, and all other cases. And then, if the field is okay, if no bugs are found, I would just um, 
put it on done and take another ticket. Okay. So, uh, but what if I found a bug? What then? Well, I have two options. I can go to a developer like this and say, are you not reading the specifications? Come on, bugs again? What's wrong with you? Probably you wouldn't feel uh, okay, right? And I have other option. I go to developer like this and say, oh, look, I found the bug. And uh, I know it, it's a tricky one, so I understand why you didn't find it, uh, why you didn't think about it. But it doesn't matter because we are a team, we work towards the same goal, and that is to create the most amazing app, the most bug-free app as you can, so the end users will be happy. So you see, we have two options, how we testers communicate with developers or whole team as well. <coughs> so, it is important how you talk to your teammates. And, okay, so I found the bug, I reported, developers are uh, fixing it, okay. Then, I tested this feature. So, I have other features as well. And I need to test around uh, the whole app if something is not broken. And I test it. This is like, I would say, a uh, uh, most common thing that people think what the testers do. But we have also a lot of other roles and um, activities. For example, we create and update test cases, um, user scenarios. We look at the specifications to see <coughs> where, where could in the future uh, this app break and we inform the developers in front. And uh, we also, if we automate, we program our own test, so yes, we are also programmers. <laughs> uh, we have meetings and uh, if we have a larger team, uh, we can manage this team. So it's a lot going on in a tester's day. Uh, and most important thing when you're a tester is that you need to know how important is this bug that you find it. it, it should it be fixed today or tomorrow, next release? Because so it's, it is important to prioritize, prioritize. Uh, and there's a lot of multitasking involved. For example, you're testing something, you find a bug, you report it. So, for example, you were in the test zone, you're testing, but now stop it, you need to report it. That, that, these are two different, how to say, say process. So it's a lot of multitasking when you're a tester and because a lot of, it is a lot of multitasking, you're stressed. So it can be stressful uh, because we have a lot of responsibility, our job is very important. But if you love what you do, it fills you with energy, right? So if work makes you happy, you have no problem getting up in the morning. If you look positive at the world, if you see only opportunities and something to learn, Mm, then you can't wait to find a bug or two. So, yes, uh, because my work fills me with energy, I have a lot of energy left when I come home. And I have a lot of other hobbies. And to what makes me going is, of course, uh, and how to deal with all this stress, multitasking, is to have enough, enough of sleep, uh, to eat healthy, and to, I don't know, do yoga, run, uh, to go out and uh, enjoy walking mm, and of course because I know what because I know that my thoughts create my reality I'm really careful about what am I thinking about and I also when I go to sleep I practice uh, to be grateful for the things I have for the job I have for finding my passion mm. and so what have we learned today the most important thing is I want you to uh, think about is that our thoughts really create our opportunity, uh, our reality. So uh, also try different things. So try to find out what you don't like, so that you'll be closer to finding out what you really like. Uh, find your passion. Um, 
then set a goal, your vision for your job, for your life, where you want to be, who you want to be in one year, five years, and most important, enjoy your work, respect your co-workers, be proactive, be active, give new proposals, be positive, stay true to yourself, and most important, try to balance your life. Thank you.